One person is expected to be okay this morning after their car crashed into a power pole in Henrico overnight. Yeah, Alexis Bellamy is live in Henrico this morning and Alexis has been there all morning long. So what can you tell us? Well, Autumn Delaney, good morning. I'm here on Hungry Road right between Mele Muse and Nandina Drive where that crash actually took place late last night. Now, traffic here is flowing freely. Those roads are back open after they were shut down following that crash where a car ran off the road and hit a power pole. Now we know the roads here reopened around 530 earlier this morning. Take a look at your screen here. Some really stunning pictures. We're showing you what that scene looked like this morning. We can see there's some pretty serious damage that's been done to the front driver's side of the car there. We can also see that airbag deployed at some point during the crash. Now, the car even taking out what looks like part of a wrought iron fence there in the front yard. Now, Henrico police arrived here to the scene around 1030 last night when the car ran off the road and hit that power pole that, as you can see, is snapped in half. Some wood shards just hanging out of the pole. Earlier this morning, we did learn that a Dominion Energy supervisor was on the scene of that accident surveying the damage. And according to police, repairs are expected to start at some point this morning. But they say when those repairs do start, it'll likely take hours. Now, something else to keep in mind here is that Henrico police say when those repairs do start, when crews start de-energizing those power lines to reattach them to that pole, it could cause some power outages in the area. That's something that nearby homes want to keep aware of. Now, anyone with questions about the repairs or anything that's happening just down the road here should contact Dominion Energy. Reporting live in Henrico this morning, Alexis Bellamy, 8 News.